Hey everyone, I'm here with a quick story on Jonathan Majors. You know, Jonathan Majors is now on trial for the incident that happened earlier this year between him and his at the time girlfriend, uh, what is her name again? Grace Jabari, okay? Um, so now he's on trial now facing those charges and they are bringing up the entire relationship. Um, parts of it from what she said early on, she was scared of him. Now listen, don't, don't, don't start y'all. Don't start no mess. It won't be no mess. That's what, that's what we used to say when I was growing up. But if you, if, if you're in a relationship and you are scared of someone early on, just in general, and I ain't talking about grace right now. I'm talking about in general. You, you meet somebody, they show you signs, you see the red flags and you're like, uh, ah. you just ignore them. You don't know him to the point of your own detriment. I don't get it. But, you know, his trial is happening at a very um, peculiar time. It's actually a really bad time for him. It's in the height of um, the Diddy and his essay case and it being resolved in, you know, 24 hours, under 24 hours. And then all of the people that were accused of S.A., right behind Diddy. It, it just is not a good environment, so to speak, for him to have his trial. Well, listen, it's his day in court. We're going to see how this plays out. And we're going to hear more about what Grace said when she got on the stand right after this. <laughs> share a screen with y'all. Let's get into this Jonathan Major story. So Jonathan Major's accuser Grace Jabari testifies he flipped over, uh, um, flipped out over the ex's dog, okay? who listen, Jonathan Major's once lost his cool when his accuser Grace Jabari mentioned her ex-boyfriend's dog, at least according to her testimony in Major's assault trial. Jabari, who flew in from London to take the stand in an NYC courtroom, spoke to the jury under oath Tuesday and described how she first met him, how they got involved, and at what point he allegedly started to show aggression around her. So remember, prosecutors told jurors Monday during the opening statements that what allegedly happened between them in March was actually just the boiling point of what they claim had become of a controlling and abusive relationship, something Jabari testified to on the stand. Jabari said she met Majors on the set of Ant-Man in the Wasp Quantumadium, you know, and that was the beginning. Um, he had many great, he's a great actor. So for 1.2 seconds, I'm going to separate the man from the talent. And as a talent, this man is an amazing actor who probably um, destroyed his career. So here's the thing too. You know, they say when it comes to work relationships, um, that's what happened with TJ um, Holmes and, and, and Amy Robot, destroyed their whole work career over a work relationship. Sometimes you got to be a little leery about these work relationships. And I know it's hard because if you're a workaholic and plus we work almost a good portion of our day, okay, of our waking hours for those that are still working, a lot of that is work. So you're almost like, well, where will I get to meet someone if it's not at work? I don't know what to tell you. I don't know. Go go to the, um, what do they call it? The, the uh, uh, what do they call it? When you go after hours to get drinks, even if you don't drink, you could attend. Just get some cranberry juice or a glass of water. I don't know. But um, leave these work relationships alone. So where she was hired as a movement coach and explained that their relationship got serious quickly. 
Oh. However, at one point in December 2021, she testified she saw the first flashes of anger okay, um, from him when she claims he flipped his lid after she brought up her ex's pooch. So he flipped his lid. I mean, listen, ladies, this is to the ladies out there. How much do you need to see before you say, do not pass go? Now, my cutoff game used to not be that good. I used to give people chance after chance after chance um, when it came to relationships. But you know, now I got the cutoff spirit. Cut you off like PSNG if you ain't pay your light bill. I'm done. Uh-uh. When you see these signs, you can't ignore them. They said when people tell you who they are, believe them. So Jabari said she was actually meeting uh, Major's own dogs at the time, and he was giving her instructions on how to behave around them, to which she replied she was already familiar with dogs on account of her ex-boyfriend who had one. Then when she then that's when she alleges JM, Jonathan Majors, lost his cool and started to raise his voice at her. Apparently angry, angry, she brought it up. In court, she quoted as saying, how dare I mention him? And it's embarrassing to him that I dated him. His dog is pathetic, the kind, that kind of stuff. She also said this was the first time she ever became afraid of him. And she testified things only got worse from there. So somewhere in between the first time you got afraid of this man and things getting worse, you didn't say, you know what? I ain't connected to him. I got no kids together. I'm not married to him. I'm out. I see him when I see him in the industry. But you proceeded on. And I'm just saying this is a lesson for everybody right now. You see X, you don't like X, but you continue on thinking that that person is going to get better, even though they showing you clear signs of who they are and scary signs. Well, let's continue. Jabari went on to describe other alleged incidents where Major lost his temper, testifying he once threw a candle at her at candle in her direction and dented her wall and that he allegedly once knocked her headphones off her head among other alleged moments of berating she also stopped and cried during a lot during her testimony at this point it doesn't sound like she's gotten around to describing the alleged assault in question although prosecutors already alluded to it on monday when they allege he threw her around like a rag doll in the car after she saw a text that what she thought was from a woman, something he's denied. Megan Good was back in court, back in court looking on as Major sat in the, at the defendant's table during Javari's testimony. He reportedly did not look at Javari while she was on the stand. This is ugly. This is very ugly. Um, he got a Bible in his hand. Can y'all see it there? He got a binder. I don't know what notes he got in the binder. I don't know what that little pad is there. And there go Megan. Oh, um, I'm going to stay close to this case, guys. We'll, we'll check in every day as this trial is going on. But in the meantime, let me know your thoughts. How do you think this thing is going to turn out? And I don't know what, what the charges are connected to this crime. Like, is it jail time? Is it just a fine? I don't know. But it's ugly. Listen, guys, chat with me in the comments, and when I get an opportunity, I will chat back. If you're not a subscriber, subscribe, subscribe, hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you will be notified. If you are a subscriber, welcome back. Everybody, thanks for watching. Don't forget, people, hit the like button, and I'll see you on the next video.